You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. When it comes to connecting with one's spiritual senses, no other religion in the world has had an impact on people as much as Buddhism. Birthed in India, the religion is not just limited to meditation, prayers and teachings as many people might believe it to be, but also celebrates a number of festivals with great fervor and devotion. So today let's take you to witness the celebrations of two such festivals that beautifully showcase the culture, lifestyle and rituals followed by Buddhists. Thousands of people thronged the magical mountain kingdom of Ladakh as it hosted the annual two-day Dosmoche festival. Also known as the festival of scapegoat, it is one of the most famous prayers festival in the Union Territory. On the first day, monks from Matho Monastery performed a spectacular mask dance, also known as Cham, at Chaukang Vihara in Leh. On the second day, Dhos and Storma were carried from Chaukang Vihara in the form of huge procession that passed through the main market and culminated at Katmoche. While Dhos is a multi-colored thread structure that was made by the monks of Dakthok Monastery, Storma, a butter cake, was made by the monks of Disket Nubra Monastery. The festival concluded with the burning of both these items amid chanting of prayers by the monks from various monasteries. This ritual symbolizes the elimination of all the evil spirits. Locals believe that celebrating this festival protects them from all kinds of natural disasters. <laughs> महामारी भूखे ऐसे पेंडेमिक ना हो इसके वजह से हम मानते कि विश्व शांति के लिए बड़े पूजा होते हैं तो ये दो दिन दिनों का जो पूजा हमेशा हर एक मुनासी का बारी-बारी से राजवंश से चले आ रहे हैं Just after Dosmoche which is the last festival of New Year celebrations falls Loser also known as the Tibetan New Year the three-day festival is celebrated with great enthusiasm at prominent Buddhist sites across India. Decked up in new clothes, people visit the Buddhist temples and also their relatives. In Dharamshala town of Himachal Pradesh, Tibetan diaspora observed the occasion with a lot of religious, cultural and merry-making events. Namgyal Monastery, also referred as Dalai Lama's temple, was also thrown open after two years for the general public and tourists. It is a major tourist attraction in Dharamshala that was lying closed due to coronavirus. Today is a uh, uh, Tibetan New Year, which is called as uh, Losar. And here people are, uh, after a very long time due to the COVID situation, now uh, the temple is open. And everyone is like visiting here and we all are very happy to be visiting, to visit our temple after a long time. On the third day of Loser, Tibetans in exile perform Sangsol prayers, a custom of offering incense. Led by the monks from Nechen Monastery in Dharmshala, the prayers were held for the long life of Dalai Lama and for the cause of Tibet at Lagyari Temple. A number of colorful prayer flags that are used to promote peace, compassion, strength and wisdom were also tied around the temple to mark the occasion. Today is the third day of Lusar, 
So after two years, we, we are you know, very happy that we are celebrating you know, Lhasa. And uh, today is the very uh, auspicious day that we are doing you know, five incense burning puja. So everybody comes here and we burn you know, uh, like incense. So it's like it will bring you know, prosperous and uh, good luck for all the people. And especially we pray that for His Holiness long life yeah, and for free Tibet. If one wants to gain insight into the Buddhist way of living, witnessing festivals like Dosmoche and Loser is elementary. Moreover, they are also an opportunity for the expression of devotion and gratitude to the Buddha and his teachings. India is well known around the world for its peaceful coexistence, diverse culture and a multicultural societal framework. Examples of this harmonious existence could very well be seen in different nook and corners of the country. One such example is that of a Sikh man from Amritsar city of Punjab who has been a caretaker at a mosque for the last 40 years. Communal harmony is a required facet for maintaining peace and tranquility in a multicultural and diverse society like India. For this, the social fabric of the country has to be nurtured by connecting all individuals from all spheres with one another. Examples of the peaceful and harmonious coexistence of the citizens could be easily spotted at different nooks and corners of the country. One such example is that of a sick man from the holy city of Amritsar who is a caretaker at a mosque. Look, I was loved by the people. 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 इन्हा ने वेख्या भी जोड़े रखता वा इन लैके जाने उ जोड़े लै जो चुके लोग मैं इतने लिया के नाता वो इतने कुछ भी नहीं हूँ जो मलाना साहब ने सेवा की है ये नाल की सेवा कोई भी नहीं कर सकता मैसेज कहने जी अं कहने जिन्हें सिख है हिंदू है मुसलमान है सब आप एक थाली बैठिए एक जगह बैठ के रोटी खाई है सारी फिर अगे उंगरों the city of Amritsar has a heterogeneous population of Sikhs, Hindus, Muslims and other religious communities that reside harmoniously in the city. Situated in the Karuddin area, this Jama Mosque has become a symbol of religious harmony in town due to Baljinder Singh's selfless service at the shrine. He has been taking care of the footwear of the devotees along with engaging in other petty jobs at the mosque for the last 40 years. Locals appreciate the noble deeds of Baljinder Singh. We are watching from childhood and we are doing a very good way to serve our children. And we are giving a very good way to serve our children. But for the whole world, it is a very good way to serve our children. We are serving our children in other religions, in other religions, in other religions, in other religions. Examples like these could be easily seen in different parts of the country of India, making it an epicenter of peaceful coexistence. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Bollywood film and television celebrities raised the glamour quotient at the red carpet of the 21st Indian Television Academy Awards as they attended the prestigious award function in India's western Mumbai city. जैसे आज यहाँ पर मुझे नॉमिनेट किया गया है तो आप सोच ही सकते हैं मेरी सफर की शुरुआत है और भी फिल्में कर रही हूँ और भी डिजिटल अपीयरेंसेस होंगे और टेलीविजन पे बिल्कुल कॉमेडी करते हुए दिखूंगी मैं हंसाऊंगी बिल्कुल आप सबको सेलिब्रिटीज इंक्लूडिंग एक्ट्रेस रणवीर सिंह आलिया भट्ट डायरेक्टर्स करण जौहर अनुराग वासु एंड सिंगर अलका याग्निक वर अमंग समल नोन फेसिस ऑफ द फिल्म एंड टेलीविजन इंडस्ट्री प्रेजेंट एट द इवेंट ITA Awards is an annual event organized every year by the Indian Television Academy to honor the achievers of the industry. Ganpati Bhatt puts on a harness, getting ready to harvest betel nuts at the top of a towering palm tree. Within 5 seconds, he has ascended the 65 feet tall tree, all with the help of a self-made device that he calls a tree scooter. Consisting of a small German motor of chainsaw maker style, 
a rudimentary seat and a set of wheels, the scooter helps her to regularly scale areca palms in the coastal town of Mangaluru to harvest betel nuts, also commonly called areca nuts in India. This machine is in our village. We have to take a lot of water. 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 He spent around 52,824 US dollars in research and development, eventually taking four years before his engineer partner and him had a working prototype. The intrepid inventor said he has so far sold more than 300 of the three scooters, which cost around 819 US dollars. Other farmers are keen to use the scooter, which can increase their productivity. The construction of one of the India's longest reclining Buddha statue is underway in eastern Bodh Gaya city. Uh, Buddha got enlightenment on this place, Buddha, uh, Bodh Gaya. So, uh, who are respect to the Buddha? Every people from around the world, they come to pay respect to the Buddha at this uh, sacred enlightenment place of the Buddha. Uh, so, this time people also can uh, come to visit or um, pay respect to the Indian uh, biggest, uh, longest uh, reclined Buddha statue. Artists from eastern Kolkata city have been roped in to build the 100 feet long and 30 feet tall statue with fiberglass which is expected to be completed by February 2023. Bodh Gya, which receives around 100,000 pilgrims and tourists visit every year, is revered by the devotees since Lord Buddha is believed to have attained enlightenment here. And now we will take you to Poonch district of Jammu in Kashmir, where a theatrical play was organized by the authorities to spread the messages of communal harmony and drug abuse. Take a look. The citizens of the country must be instilled with the belief of the peaceful coexistence in order to pave the way for a more harmonious and unified India. Taking a step in a similar direction, authorities in Jammu and Kashmir's Punch city recently organized a play highlighting the message of communal harmony and drug abuse. हम जम्मू से आए हैं सभी कलाकार नटरंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की तरफ से हमने यहाँ पर प्ले परफॉर्म किया है परवास यहाँ पर आप छोना है आसमान भी कह सकते हैं इस ये प्ले बेसिकली कम्युनल हार्मनी के ऊपर है और ड्रग अब्यूज के ऊपर है कि किस तरह बच्चे ड्रग्स में अब्यूजिव तरीके से हर कते करते हैं और किस तरह कम्युनल हार्मनी हमें सही रखना जरूरी है Organized by the Natrang Theatre Jammu, the topic of the show was to spread the message of religious harmony among citizens. Along with it, the play also depicted how drug abuse can cripple the lives of youngsters. Eminent police officers and prominent personalities attended the program and spoke about the importance of maintaining peace and harmony in the society. This theatre group came to Punch and it came to Punch and it gave a scintillating performance today. It gave a very big performance today. It gave a message to Nashay. It gave a message to the Kamal Harman. It gave a message to the youth that they would save from any perspective from Nashay. Whether they come from any other work, they would work with them, they would work with them, they would work with them. और माशरे में कमल हार्मनी को बरकरार रखें। The artists were felicitated at the end of the play. It is through events like these that the upcoming generation is becoming aware of the morals and traditions of the Indian society. Women are the largest untapped reservoir of talent in the world. Every year, the potential and abilities of women are celebrated in the form of International Women's Day on the 8th of March. Various events and seminars were organized all over the country to mark the occasion. Let's have a look at the celebrations that took place in Odisha. Being a woman is itself a superpower. Each year, the spirit of womanhood is celebrated in the form of International Women's Day on the 8th of March. In India too, different kinds of programs, events and rallies are organized to celebrate this day. This year, 
Bhumneshwar city of Odisha organized a college art camp to celebrate female artists and their creativity on Women's Day. So, I want to show you how much women feel empowered in this world. Like, uh, oh, nature, nature, mein, nature itself is a female. To show the female in it, it was a very good topic for me. I personally feel also empowered, like वो अपने आप को nature के surrounding free feel करती है, वहाँ वो अपने अपने आप को खुश किस्म किस्मत समझती हैं और relaxed feel करती हैं और सबसे वो शक्तिशाली नजर आती हैं अपने आप में। The camp was organized by the Odisha Lalit Kala Academy. Around 100 women participated in the three-day camp. These artworks were then exhibited at the Kalinga Art Gallery in Bhumneshwar. Meanwhile, girl students of the Sudarshan Sand Art Institute created a big sand art on the Puri beach to mark the day. A total of eight girls sculpted the 20 feet wide and 8 feet high sand art by using 8 tons of sand. Through the sand art, they encouraged every woman to celebrate the day. हर साल की तरह इस साल भी हमने इंटरनेशनल वुमेन्स डे के लिए एक आर्ट बनाया है इस आर्ट में हमने यूज़ किया है कुछ एट टन का सैंड इसकी लेंथ है ट्वेंटी फीट और इसकी हाइट है एट फीट इंटरनेशनल वुमेन्स डे रिकॉग्नाइजेस दी सोशल इकोनॉमिक कल्चरल एंड पॉलिटिकल अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ वुमेन सिंस 1911 At last, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Aeon Group of Japan supports and nurtures young people through its Aeon 1% Club scholarship. In the wake of coronavirus this time, felicitation ceremony was held online for foreign students in Japan. Aeon scholarship ご卒業おめでとうございます。Aeon 1% Club prepares leaders for future and is steadily bridging the gap between Japan and rest of the world. A woman in bad girl costume man wearing the flash were among thousands of comic fans who gathered at the 10th edition of the Middle East film and comic convention in Abu Dhabi. Middle East Film Comic Con is the biggest pop culture show in the region. We've been doing it for nine years and this, our 10 year anniversary, is happening in Abu Dhabi at Adnik. We're super excited, we've got lots of surprises in store, we've got a gaming zone, we've got a workshop zone, we've got a theater zone, and it's just, if you love pop culture, it is the place to be. Among the stars that attended the event were Charles Martinet, known for voicing Mario in the Super Mario video game series, and actress Meghna, who voiced Mulan from the animated Disney movie. For comic fans, it was a chance to dress up as their favorite characters. The event held between March 4 to 6 also featured costume competitions with a prize pool of around 25,000 dirhams, almost 7,000 US dollars. NYK or Nippon Yusen Kabashiki Kaisha is a transportation company. In order to contribute towards environment conservation, the company is taking several initiatives to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. It sets a target of net zero emission by 2050 with development of new fuel ship, participation to offshore wind power electric generation. In 2019, NYK established a new green business group to accelerate these efforts. 
グリーンビジネスグループのですね、まあ、ミッションというのはですね、まあ、その中で、まあ、いわゆる低炭素脱炭素という流れの中でですね単なる社会貢献活動ではなくてですねプロフィットセンター、まあ、としてですね位置づけております、まあ、3チームで担当してやってるんですが1番目はですね洋上風力発電に関わる事業ですねをやっております発電の脱炭素再生可能エネルギーのですね、まあ、一つ大きな切り札と言われているところでここに入っていきたいというふうに思っております。二つ目はですねあの水素アンモニアといったですねあの CO2 を出さないですねエネルギー源。これのですね事業開発を行っております水素アンモニアでございましたらこれはまず日本でですねこの技術をですね導入した後にやはり今アンモニアの石炭鉱床などでですねそういう需要が非常に高いアジア諸国に対してもですねこの技術をですね広めていきたいと3つ目はですねどうしても出てくるですね CO2 をいかにこう処理する、まあ、いわゆる地中に埋める我々はまあ CCS カーボンキャプチャーストアレッジと呼んでるんですけど、まあ、そこに向けてですね CO2 を船で輸送するという事業およびですねその CO2 をですね、えー、まあ削減する取り組みでクレジットを生むと、まあ、いわゆるカーボンクレジット事業等々もですね合わせてて行っております3つ目のチームが担当しているもう一つのことは LNG というですね船に LNG を供給する事業をですね行っておりますこれもあの将来ですね水素アンモニアというものが船に使われるということが今取り組んでいるわけなんですが船で使う LNG の燃料を販売すると。いう事業ににも積極的に取り組んでおりますこれからですね、まあ、世の中のいわゆる低炭素脱炭素の流れの中でですね大きく求められている部分でございますのでまさにですねこれを今後ですね一つ一つの事業をですね伸ばしていきたいとでそれがまさに我々が標榜するですね ESG 経営ですね ESG 経営の核になる部分だと信じております。To survive as a multiple transport company, NYK is aware of its role and contribution towards environment conservation. Forty-nine teams of dogs and mushers made the ceremonial start of the 50th running of the Ida Trot Trail Sled Dog Race on the Sonoy Skies in Alaska. The 11-mile portion of the race encourages not tying. And the teams and make their way 37 miles north to the town Willow, where timed competition will begin Sunday. Mushers, volunteers, and fans who gathered for this year's renewal of Idol Tarot festivities in Anchorage were instructed to wear masks up and take precautions to prevent the spread of the still lingering virus. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia.anin.com. I'm your host, Uzma Jafri, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.